Every red-blooded American loves Cheez-Its, but how them duns made? How Cheez-Its are really made. The cheddar fields of Mozambique are blasted and extorted, leaving fallow the lands historically used to grow what some call food. Palm oil is quickly replanted to drive away any indigenous critters that could hurt the crop while also sucking every last nutrient from the soil forever. Workers are given free burial in these locations to keep the circle of life and quarterly profits unbroken, though their families are strictly forbidden from visiting these compost tombs. Mountains of pre cheez -Its defy the local declaration of famine as these machines suck them up like a lobbyist. Back in the lab, flavor scientists, or tasticles, work up new recipes using the finest ingredients locally sourced from the break room refrigerator. The Bolognana Cheez-Its were fed to the dairy cows to make double cheese. The grain smashery removes all vital nutrients from the who wheat as well as any protein or calcium from the cheese adjacent. Whole grain is broken down to the finest dust because whole grain is known to cause regular bowel syndrome. Workers who used to make 90 cents a day have been replaced by this $8 million machine. Here you can see indentured serve employees accepting satchels of discarded pre dust in lieu of salary. It's better than gold. Silica is added to the mix since it doesn't add any calories, fills the stomach, and is also quite cheap on account of being sand. Powdered rat hemoglobin, sugar, and three tabs of ecstasy are added along with rejected ceramic projects from a local middle school art class. Retired cow extract and bleach paste are infused to generate the famous orange hue. More Caliente formulas get a little extra kick in defiance of workplace safety standards. Bacteria blossoms at room temperature for nine days while the wheat slurry forms its thick rind. Once it reaches the texture of human flesh, it's identified as wheat kin and goes into the wheat kiln, which kills up to 99% of the living organisms. This meaty coagulate is about to become your Cheez-It and it never looked better. Batches are spot tested for food poisoning in the lab, often with disastrous results. These crackers will not be sold, but instead used to pay the employees who live in the brothel shanty communities which fill the high security factory parking lot. The grains go along the belts of conveyance towards the ovens, though along the way it may look like a steaming hot zombie shark. These ovens are brimstony as all heck. Few workers last more than a few months, save for No Arms Pete, which nobody's saving. He's committed to staying here until he dies, which management thinks is around February. People eat crackers 24-7, 366 on leap year, so these workers live, work, and do their whole lives right there at their stations, resigned to die at their post salting your Cheez-Its with their own tears. When vermin floor scrapings become too many to safely dispose of, they're mixed with crushed peanut shells and stamped right onto the crackers. They label them as premium blend. There are many ways to sample and enjoy Cheez-Its, and there's really no wrong way. Now that you've seen the amazing farm to factory to store to cupboard to table process, you know there's only one real way to properly savor the flavor. And that, my friends, is how cheese it's done to be made. Hey guys, remember to subscribe and like and give me comments. What should I cover next time? And turn on that bell icon, you know, so you can always know when I'm doing new stuff. And don't forget, I got a movie coming out soon. All y'all crazy bastards would love to know who I am. So here we go. See you guys on the flippity flop sweat.